This is video 26.1. We will be studying a magnifying glass. The question. A small 4 mm wide spider is viewed with a 10 cm focal length lens. A normal eye views the image at its near point, which is 25 cm. It varies a little bit from eye to eye, but as a standard, we often pick 25 centimeters. Okay, we'd like to know what is the angular magnification of the spider? What is the size of the image, given that we know the size of the spider? And what is the object distance from the lens? Step one will be to find the angular magnification. For an object viewed at the eye's near point, N, this means that the image which the eye is focusing on is located a distance in behind the lens, assuming that the eye and the lens are close together. So therefore, the distance to the image is negative N. Recall that it's negative because it's located on the same side of the lens as the object. Uh, this is the formula for ag angular magnification. Negative di over do. We just said that di is negative n, so this is n over distance to the object. We don't yet know the distance to the object, we only know the focal length of the lens. So we can solve for d0 in terms of things that we do know using this relationship. where I've already plugged in negative n as the distance to the image. So we solve for 1 over the distance of the object, which is the quantity that we don't know in the angular magnification. So if we plug that in, we have this expression. And if we distribute, we have n over f plus n over n, which is just 1. So n over f plus 1. And now we know the focal length, which is 10, and we know which is 10 centimeters, and we know the location of the eye's near point, which is 25 centimeters. So we obtain an angular magnification of 3.5. Step 2 will be to find the image size. This is simply equal to the magnification times the size of the object, or the height of the image times the magnification times the height of the object. The spider was stated to be four centimeters or four millimeters wide. So this gives us 14 millimeters is the size of the image. Now let's find the image location. We do this using this formula, which we rearranged on the previous slide to solve for the distance to the object. We take the reciprocal of both sides. We plug in the focal length and the value of n, which is 25, and find that the distance to the object is 7.14 centimeters. And that concludes video 26.1. Check out PhysicsX on the app stores. This revolutionary physics app for smartphones and tablets contains over 100 videos and 500 multiple choice questions designed by education experts. It's been proven to improve scores for intro college physics, AP physics, MCAT physics, and more. Just look for the blue icon.